Hi everyone, this is Sherry with the HU Crafty Club and we're about to make some funky barrettes. Now this is similar with all the projects that we have going on this month. A lot of the creativity is gonna fall upon your shoulders to figure out what type of designs you want. I just like to get my hands in that clay. Yes, clay will get all over your hands, but I just like to get in there and just see you know, what I end up with. So in this video, I'm gonna show you just a few techniques that you could use, but really the limit, there is no limit. Like it's only the limit, the only limit is the limit that you put upon yourself. All right, to get started, grab your craft mat, grab a knife, grab a roller and grab some polymer clay and let's go. You can try marbling your clay by putting several colors together and then pulling and twisting and rolling it out until you get the desired marbled effect. In this next one, we're literally just mashing together some of our scraps of clay, some of the different colors. It'll give it a sort of marble effect, but really we're just mushing them together and then we're going to roll it into a, a snake formation. So next we're gonna use our mat and we're gonna try to cut some pieces that are very similar in size to each other. Once we get those pieces cut, then we're going to kind of roll them into a ball and mash it down so that we get some small circles. Next, we're going to mash the circles next to each other side by side in a row until we get the length that we want for our barrette. So we're basically using repetitive shapes to get our design. So here you can see it's kind of stuck to the mat so we're just going to use our clay knife to run it underneath so that we can get it and now that we have it in our hands we're going to use our clay knife or this would be a great use for the toothpicks that are included in the kit. You're just going to kind of go around the edges and just try to use those toothpicks or the clay knife to help mold it and help shape it into the shape that you want it to be. All right, so next is one of my favorites. You're going to roll out a primary color of clay after conditioning it, and then you'll roll out a smaller piece of a secondary clay. And then you can cut that clay into small shapes, or you could just pinch pieces off. The choice is up to you. But once you do that, then you will put the small pieces of the secondary color on top of the primary color, and then you can just roll it, roll over top of it when you're finished in order to embed those pieces into the clay. It comes out real funky, y'all. Uh, this would be a good way to make polka dots, or you could use any shape that you can manage to cut out. Here's another fun one. Go ahead and take some colors of clay, however many colors you want, and roll out the long skinny snakes with those colors. And then once you do that, we're going to try to fold it in half. And the first color, you'll kind of fold it in half and try to get it to stick together. And then for each additional color that you use, you can go ahead and try to wrap it around the outside of that color just to get that same shape. So you could do one color, two colors, three colors, however many colors you do, you're going to end up with, a, I'll say, something that looks like a rainbow. <laughs> you know, not a traditional rainbow, but more of like a boho type of rainbow. And then what you'll do is, you, you know, once you get them all on, then you can cut straight across the bottom to make it all even. And look, you got a cute rainbow. Oh, and if you're wondering what this piece is that's been sitting in the camera view all along, 
this is actually left over from a different project that I did it was just like the scraps and so I'm just gonna roll it out to make it the length of the barrette and I'm gonna turn this into a barrette too why not right so after you finish designing all your barrettes and now it's time to bake them one recommendation that I have which is completely optional is that you can actually lay the metal barrette onto your cookie sheet your foil line cookie sheet and then you can lay the polymer clay over top of that so that it'll pick up the slight bend that's in the barrette ah <laughs> but after you finish baking and they have completely cooled down then all you have to do is uh, pop it off in case it did like start to stick to the metal and then add some E6000 glue, put it back on top of the barrette, let that dry for 24 hours before you put it into your hair, okay, before you start to use it. But after that 24 hours, you will have the cutest and the funkiest barrettes around. And you can say, I made that, I made that. <laughs> All right, happy crafting.